I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not worth rushing to work. I was a seed, they tried to bury me, I rose from the trip. Yo, who was showing me that my friends was really folks? Man, we did pick up that Torah, then I started taking notes. Hello, yeah, I once was weary, but I came back home. We gotta focus on salvation, salvation, yeah. I love you like I love myself, but how can you change if you ain't got no help? Gotta call on the Messiah if we wanna wear that crown, gotta put down the old man and repent right now. I'm not a respecter of persons, I don't care about the title, I don't care about the fame, I'm not doing it for clout. I'm not doing it for a name This for my salvation My soul on the line Every time I fall down I get up every time I gotta time. warn you Like I'm commanded to I gotta follow up the Christ Like I'm supposed to I don't want no blood on my hands I gotta show you how to be disciplined Can't let temptation win Hey, salvation Nothing's more important than salvation I just wanna be blameless when that day comes No, I don't got no time to be wasting Stop all the envy, stop all the arguing Stop the debating about Esau means nothing When it comes to salvation We gotta focus on salvation Salvation, yeah. Salvation, will you get in? Or will you not make it based on trying to fit in? Chasing skin and gold When men break in, corrupt and wear rust But I'm storing up where it don't get old When you meet the one who sent his son It's either gonna be peaceful or be terrifying And you'll try to run You'll be alone, no mama, daddy's homies or bros Based on the life you've lived, he'll say depart or come on home He said the greatest among you shall be the least Then wash they feet, being grace exhausting Question is how great you try to be Love is an action, you better act like you believe Willing to give all I've ever seen for what no I has seen, sleep tell them the theme. Hey, salvation. Nothing's more important than salvation. I just wanna be blameless when that day comes. No, I don't got no time to be wasting. Stop all the envy, stop all the arguing. Stop the debating about Esau means nothing when it comes to salvation. We gotta focus on salvation. Salvation, yeah. so cold I can't even <laughs> uh, I'm going back home because there ain't no power ain't no heat at work so I don't know I may talk to y'all a little bit later if I feel talkative but yeah it's like <sighs> it's this cold currently right now Now mind you, I'm used to this, okay? I don't play with this cold, right? It's just the principle of the thing. It's just like when, especially I'm not like comparing anything, but just a known fact with the snow and everything else, we never had snow days unless it was like three four five six plus feet of snow right and now people things are getting canceled just for the wind chill and the wind advisories it's just like this is some pansy ass stuff it just is what it is i'm just calling a space fake and it's just like mind you i had to stay in there for a little bit to confirm you know if somebody was going to come out and try and store the power or whatever and I don't know if you can see how red that is I don't know but like literally ashy especially my other hand lord Jesus I am ashy look oh 
it looks like it's glistening but it's ash it's ash on there <laughs> Woo! i'm going home i'm relaxing and i'm chilling Thank the lord but i'll talk to y'all in a little bit probably you can see it's real cold and now it's snowy outside I just wanted to say I hope y'all are safe for those that live in this type of weather during these winter months I'm gonna tell you right now it's not worth rushing to work it's not worth thinking you have an appointment to go to just it's not that important. You can be late if need be. Clean off your cars. You know, just. I see because I just saw coming in a car sliding off the road. Now, mind you, people don't have money for tires. People don't have you know, the funds and the resources to get, you know, new cars. So I'm not saying that the person that slid off the road and so forth, I'm not saying that they were irresponsible or anything. You just never know the cause of something, you know, whether it be them going too fast and them trusting their brakes too much, because that's a known thing. Um, People just trust their brakes way too much. And they think they're invincible if they have an SUV or something like that. And that's not the case. It's just not. So, please know that nothing is worth getting to that compromises your safety. Be cognizant whether it's one inch of snow now mind you i'm used to feet of snow this has been a more mild winter thank god i don't care if it's an inch or three feet please be cognizant of who's around you you're not the only person on the road you know so because when i see it snow like this mind you it's not like the heavy clunky snow it's the misty kind of situation right now but it accumulates over time and especially now there's not even resources for people to plow like with the plow trucks and salt trucks or whatever they salted i want to say a couple days ago when the roads were completely clear like as a preventative measure i want to say but no <laughs> because it's still icy like when you plow something and it's not properly managed with salt it turns into what ice but hopefully because yesterday there was no power here <laughs> so hopefully today is you know a lot better and easy going it's just you know it's just a time where you get drained from not seeing the sun. Now, mind you, I saw a little sun yesterday. It was way too cold to have clouds form. And even so, there's capabilities in which I'm around that produce artificial clouds anyway. So it's it's just always cloudy like either from the artificial stuff or the real stuff because like you can actually notice the type of cloud it is and the color of it it's, i don't want to get into that but it's just the covering in which the sky does you know it's just it's just during them times you know where artificial stuff is starting to be a common thing and 
to have the discernment knowing where it's coming from you know that can be important when it comes to certain measures that you have to take because I've never seen more fake things pop up and it's confusing a lot of people and I know it's you know equating from <laughs> snow to the artificial clouds that they make here it's I'm talking about generally like people are getting confused on what's true and what's not and they can't tell what is a real thing as opposed to not especially like on just social media overall like hopefully if you're in real life and you see certain things like you're able to decipher and differentiate certain things because nobody has time for that <laughs> to like you can't even tell in real life okay that's yeah i guess people with the seeing and believing type of mentality i guess that's what it is mm -hmm. but at this point i'm just jabber jawing don't know if I'm gonna continue this episode because like I kind of want to do it like a couple of days not a whole week just a random vlog because I've been doing a lot of extra videos too I have a few series that are running right now and um hope you guys are enjoying it and so forth so it's been pretty cool to just drop when I want to and upload and things like that. It has been really helping my mental health during this time because we are not out the woods with certain situations. And if you don't know the situations, catch up on them series. So we're going to move through this snow day. Even though I wish it was a snow day, I wish adults could get a snow day. But, you know institutionalized systems that's all it is <laughs> all right let me get some reading in and everything so yeah stay safe out there and stay warm i figured just to pass some time given that i told you guys i was going to be reading that i would at least attempt to read Peter 1 and 2, those chapters. Now, mind you, I have two versions, as you can see here. I have the NKJV as well as the New World Translation of the Holy Scriptures. Now, mind you, usually the New World Translation are used for Jehovah Witnesses, and that is why I have it, because my dad's side of the family did practice that, and ultimately, just through the spirit, he did a lot of things that the scriptures say. So, without further ado, let's get into some Bible study. And let me know if you guys like this type of content, and I will continue to read here and there. So, let's get to it. Okay, so I'm going to be reading out the New World Translation version, just because it gives a more constructive thing on how to pronounce certain things. However, um, please refer to any version that you can easily understand. So this is the first chapter of Peter. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the temporary residents scattered in the Potis, Galatea, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, to the ones chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, with sanctification by the Spirit, for the purpose of their being obedient and sprinkled with the blood of Jesus Christ. May unserved kindness and peace be increased to you. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for according to his great mercy, he gave us a new birth to a living hope, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an incomparable and undefiled and unfading inheritance. It is reserved in the heavens for you, 
who are being safeguarded by God's power through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last period of time. In this fact, you are greatly rejoicing, through for a little while at present, if it must be, you have been grieved by various trials, in order that the tested qualify of your faith of much greater value than gold, that perishes despite its being proved by fire, may be found a cause for praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Though you never saw him, you love him. Though you are not looking upon him at present, yet you exercise faith in him and are greatly rejoicing with an unspeakable and glorified joy. As you receive the end of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Concerning this very salvation, a diligent inquiry and a careful search were made by the prophets who prophesied about the undeserved kindness meant for you. They kept on investigating what particular season or what sort of season the spirit in them was indicating concerning Christ. When it was bearing witness beforehand about the sufferings for Christ and about the glories to follow these, it was revealed to them that not to themselves, but to you, they were ministering the things that have now been announced to you through those who have been declared the good news to you with Holy Spirit sent forth from heaven. Into these very things, angels are desiring to peer. Hence, brace up your minds for activity, keep your senses, completely set your hope upon the undeserved kindness that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, quit being fashioned according to the desires you formerly had in your ignorance, but in accord with the Holy One, who call you, do you also become holy yourselves in all your conduct? Because it is written, you must be holy because I am holy. Furthermore, if you are calling upon the Father who judges impartially according to one's work, conduct yourself with fear during the time of your alien residence. For you know that it was not with corruptible things with silver or gold, that you were delivered from your fruitless form of conduct received by tradition from your forefathers, but it was with precious blood, like that of an unblemished and spotless lamb, even Christ's. True, he was foreknown before the founding of the world, but he was made manifest at the end of the times for the sake of you. Who though him are believers in God, and the one who raised him up from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope might be in God, now that you have purified your souls and by your obedience to the truth and unhypocritical brotherly affection as the result, love one another intensely from the heart, for you have been given a new birth, not by corruptible but incorruptible reproductive seed through the word and of the living and enduring God for all flesh is like grass and all its glory is like a blossom of grass the grass becomes withered and the flower falls off but the saying of Christ endures forever well this is the saying this which has been declared to you as good news Chapter 2. Accordingly, put away all badness and all deceitfulness and hypocrisy and envies and all sort of backbiting. And as the newborn infants, forming longing for the unadulterated milk belonging to the word, that through it you may grow to salvation, provided you have tasted 
that the Lord is kind, coming to him as to a living stone, rejected, it is true by men, by chosen, precious with God. You yourselves also, as living stones, are being built up a spiritual house for the purpose of a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it is contained in scripture, look, I am laying in Zion a stone, chosen a foundation cornerstone, precious, and no one exercising faith in it will by any means come to disappointment. It is to you, therefore, that he is precious because you are being believers. But to those not believing, the identical stone that the builders rejected has become the head of the corner, and a stone of stumbling and a rock mass of offense. These are stumbling because they are disobedient to the word. This is very end. They were also appointed, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for special possession, that you should declare abroad the excellencies of the one who called you out of darkness and into his wonderful light. For you were once not a people, but are now God's people. You were those who were not been shown mercy but are now those that have been shown mercy. Beloved, I exhort you as aliens and temporary residents to keep abstaining from fleshly desires, which are the very ones that carry on the conflict against the soul. Maintain your conduct, fine among the nations, that in the thing in which they were speaking against you as evildoers, they may as a result of your fine works of which they are eyewitnesses glorify God in the day for his inspection. For the Lord's sake, subject yourself to every human creation, whether to a king as a superior or to governors as being sent to him to inflict punishment on evildoers, but to pray doers of good. For so they will of God is that by doing good, you may muzzle the ignorant talk of the unreasonable Ben. Be as free people, and yet, holding your freedom not as a blind for badness, but as slaves of God. Honor men of all sorts, for love for the whole association of brothers, be in fear of God, have honor for the king. Let house servants be in subjection to their owners with all due fear, not only to the good and reasonable, but also to those hard to please. For if someone, because of conscience towards God, bears up under grievous things and suffers unjustly, this is an agreeable thing. For what merit is there in it if when we are sinning and being slapped, you endure it? But if, when you are doing good and you suffer, you endure it, this is a thing agreeable with God. In fact, to this course you were called, because even Christ suffered for you, leaving you a model for you to follow his steps closely. He committed no sin, nor was deception found in his mouth. When he was being reviled, he did not go reviling in return. When he was suffering, he did not go threatening, but kept on committing himself to the ones who judges righteously. For himself bore our sins in his own body upon the stake, in order that we might be done with sin and live to righteousness, and by his stripes we were healed. For you were like sheep going astray, but now you have returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. Now, what I get from these two chapters, right, 
it's trying to indicate first off what I got was there is a clear indication that people that inherit the kingdom of God mind you there is within us the kingdom of God right and there is an inheritance or a lot in which a chosen people will be receiving through the servitude and just being a bond servant for the Lord. Now, mind you, an easy concept for me is that if you are a bond servant of the Lord, it's not going to be the easiest thing to get through. And this just further confirms that notion because, yes, as Christ was blameless and without sin, the goal is to ultimately get to that incorruptible body similar to Christ. Because as he was tempted, you know, there are chances that there are things, even though we may fall short at times, the goal is to be perfect, blameless, and so forth like Christ. Because you do want to be in the image of him. You do want to be in the image of God. It's not a, you know, simple plight to carry, but it is worth mentioning. Now, mind you, with the explanation of the cornerstone and stuff like that, and just having to submit, be in a submissive type of role during a certain time because there are times in which you need to be in servitude under other people so that way when you are in correct rulership this is just what I'm getting from it because another basic concept is there's people that rule under his chosen people and are have taken them captive and so forth across the whole bible that has been a thing And eventually, God hears his chosen people's cry to be able to be in righteous rulership once again. And when you get closer to Revelation, you will see that there is a, if you will, a pruning of certain things that will be taking place in order for the righteous kingdom to once be restored. And as scripture also says, too, that I'm picking back off of is when the wicked are ruling the people mourn but when there is righteous rulership that's when things are of true substance and truly thriving so at this point whoever the chosen people are (laughs) because there's debates on that all the time okay i want people to understand that there is a group of people and you have to test their spirit as well Because there are things that you can tell about certain people that can indicate that they could be a part of the kingdom in the chosen seed. So once that occurs and you're able to decipher certain things, you have that will to want to be better. You have that will to want to set things straight. And even though there is a hierarchy there will be systems in place it's never going to be a bad thing under God's rule it's always that hierarchy God created everything and rules everything and then Christ has dominion over the angels and the people and everything else and nothing can go through God without Christ you have to go through Christ and that's just that on that simple thing so for these two chapters that I believe are a wonderful piggyback on the other scriptures that I mentioned and I want to dive back into these two chapters and everything since I read them to you out loud so that way I can really meditate on them and concentrate so I appreciate you listening and until the next one take care